Hi there, welcome. In today's video, I'm gonna be walking you through how to create a digital product inside of Canva step-by-step. Step. I'm gonna be taking you through one of my favorite examples, which is of a template and how to design and create one within Canva. But before we move to the tutorial, let's talk about one of the most common questions that I get asked, and that is, is it legal to sell your templates online when you've designed them in Canva? The short answer to this question is yes, it is legal to sell your templates via Canva, but the important thing that that makes it legal here is that you have created a template from scratch and you are not just you know taking one of the pre-existing templates on Canva and directly reselling it. Now you might be wondering that sounds like a lot of work if I have to create everything from scratch. This doesn't mean that you have to create the most innovative design out there which no one has ever been able to create. It just means that you're not allowed to take an existing template and sell that template directly to a customer. That is not legal and that would be copyright theft. What you do need to do here is if you are working on existing template designs you need to edit them and create your own version that then you are allowed to package and resell as a separate digital product so with that out of the way let's dive into the tutorial the example that i'm going to walk you through in this tutorial is going to be a wedding invitation template which is a classic and i'm sure a lot of you have probably already either seen them or received them at some point I've also done a little bit of research to see what is the most trending and popular designs that are doing well on Etsy. And the reason why I've picked Etsy for my research is because it's a good way to find out what's already selling. As you can see, this Boho Ivory Wedding Invitation set has a bestseller status. That means that it's been selling quite often. And when you look at the price, it's $9. So this is again, something which is a digital download. You can create it once and sell it over and over again. And when you see, you know, in the description, you can see that they have a shop where they sell more such templates. And I'm guessing that these templates are usually made in Canva. If not, we will anyway walk you through it and you can see how you can create and sell these templates, right? So if you see the pictures and the way they have created their listings, you can see that there's a little bit of flowers here. There's a really nice text here. And then there's a date, which obviously you need when you are, you know, designing a template. And as you can see, they have probably created this in another software tool, but you don't need to worry. We can also create this within Canva and see how we can do the same. So let's move on to Canva. And like I said, you are allowed to create and sell your own templates as long as they are sufficiently different. So you can't just steal someone's design and you know, kind of work with that, but it's okay for you to use a template as an inspiration point and then create your own version of it. So let's go into the search bar and look for a wedding invitation template. So we know what is, you know, the size and the format that we need to create. And when you click on see all, you'll be able to see lots of different options. Now I have a Canva pro account, which means I can use these ones with the crown symbol here. If you're on a free account, you probably cannot use one of these templates. So we'll have to get started with a free one, but don't worry. There are tons and tons of free templates as well, which you can, you know, work with. You don't necessarily need to have a pro account or pay for a monthly subscription in order to be able to create a template. So as you can see, there are tons of different options, you know, that you can create and use and basically you'll have to now pick something that you feel is going to be most relevant and is going to sell a lot um, and then we can kind of work with that right so let's see if we like a design which you know has kind of the theme that we want in mind which would be a little bit of flowers and maybe you know a little bit of um, text in that which you know would be then how we would go so i like this template let's you know customize this and see how we can get started on it now obviously like i said you can't actually take any of these elements as is but you're allowed to use this as an inspiration point right so instead of this element let's look for what other flowers we could find to create this template so i'm going to go on elements here and then i'm going to type in flowers or maybe flower graphics and then I'm going to see what are the different graphics that show up, right? Because we want some kind of an element which would look good here, right? So we can look at really different types of elements. And of course, like I said, you can always look at inspirational stuff. So this looks like, you know, pastel colors. Um, let's see if we can find something. So this would be a good match if you're looking for like a pastel kind of a color. Some of these elements also allow you to change, you know, the colors. So you can also always really go in and change the colors as well. So I like this one as well. And as you can see, there are really so many different designs. So first let's start by deleting this element because obviously we want to replace it with our own element. Let's go with this. 
right? This is a pretty cute element that we can have and we can see if this would make sense to have it more like this or maybe a bit twisted. So if you want it to be twisted, you will have to, you know, see if there's an element which can be shaped this way and then see how you could do this. You also can set this as your background or, you know, change the colors as well, depending on the element again. So sometimes you can change the color, sometimes you can't. In this case, I think you can have, you know, different filters, but you can't really change the element color. So you'll have to stick to this theme if you pick this, right? Let's look at some other options that we can have as well. I quite like this one as well, but it seems to be a bit really, you know, bright. Um, again, I would probably not go with this one just because I think it's a bit too intense to create it. This one is quite nice as well and so is this. Now again, you could create a million designs and test them out because really it's so easy to do this in Canva. But of course you have to spend a bit of time figuring out what you like and what you don't like, right? So let's stick to you know the template that we picked up. Let's take this as a design. Now again, the point here is not to have the most aesthetically pleasing template, but to show you how you can do this, right? So here is where it says Claudia and Chad. And now let's say that we stick to the names because you know, um, we could just keep that what you can type in here would be then calligraphy which would be all of the curvy fonts and you know the pretty stuff that you usually see in um, in things like wedding invitations and then you can kind of go in and see you know what would be a cute kind of font that you could use again there's so many options that you can pick from and of course you can kind of see which one you would like to have um, Claudia and let's see which ones you know look the cutest but of course it really is subjective and would depend on your audience as well, uh, what they would like to have. So this is quite nice as well. This is always a classic font that, you know, looks great on um, wedding templates. So let's increase the size a bit because you obviously want the names of the people to be clear. And then let's make this as the same font, which is great vibes. So um, let's just put in great vibes here. And sorry, I think I typed in the wrong um, keyword. So let's look at the great vibes text and make that as well. Now, again, you want to make sure that your, you know, aspects are aligning. So you want to make sure that the names are aligning and it's really simple to do it on Canva because you can literally just go up and down and see, you know, if there's this line that comes up and you can see exactly where this is going to be. But of course you can simply move it around by selecting it with your mouse and it's really easy as well. So we could delete this because maybe we don't want this and we could say Claudia uh, weds Shad or we can just say Claudia and Shad, right? So this would be then the invite for Claudia and chat um, if you would like to have a different background color you can just click on this frame here and then we can go here and then basically type in let's say that we want to have like a pastel pink we can see what kind of options would show up so we have this which looks quite pretty a plain white is a bit boring because i think it doesn't make it stand out that much this is nice as well uh, personally i like this one more because it's a bit more like you know subtle so we can have this and then of course we can choose to create this in different colors as well you don't have to have you know the same color as black you could probably go out with a popping out color like i don't know green or you could have something more bright if that's what you like um, or maybe something a little bit more sober like this and um, then you could have you know the name of the two people who are getting married really simply here and again you could either keep this or you could change this as well i uh, would love your company at their wedding ceremony i would 100 percent change the text font just to make sure that you are not copy pasting the existing template usually sans font seems to be great when it comes to reading so you can have this um, and you can also look at Open Sans, which will give you all of the readable fonts, which is, you know, things which uh, you would want people to be easily able to read. You don't want there to be like super complicated text, which people are not able to understand. So we can have this right and um, and then we can just do, you know, apply to all. So when you change one of these and you do Canva Sans, you have an option to change all, which is a really cool option. You can click on it and it will change all of the fonts which are similar in this particular, um, you know, design. And again, like we said, we could also change this to great vibes for the whole of this. So great vibes and yep. And we can click on change all and this would change, you know, um, this as well. Now again, you can also either make it just bigger by hand or you can go here and click on, you know, the font size that you want 
and make it bigger of depending on again what you would like to do and how comfortable you are using canva but like i said it's actually quite easy to use this and then i would kind of keep the color theme consistent when you're designing a template you want to make sure that it's kind of you know aligning in the fact that it's basically going to work for a lot of different types of people so you don't want to make you know five different colors and have different types of things in the template because that makes it a little bit confusing so you want to make sure that you know you are actually doing it correctly now again you can type in you know something else if you want here and you can also for example add more elements so if you like more elements you could create it a little bit cuter and you can basically add you know a few more elements that you want so you could create an element here if you would like it to be a bit more customized you also could just add different elements like for example you could search something like love or celebration and you know create these elements as well which would make the template cute as well but again keep in mind that it should go with the overall aesthetic of your template and not be weird for example this this element here is a bit cartoonish so this would go with a greeting card but not necessarily a wedding template so you can go and see you know what are the different types of images that people have and maybe you want to have you know um some kind of specific elements which are related to weddings so you can even type this in this is cute this is cute as well so if you want it to be like a cute you know invitation you could definitely have this at one of the corners which would be again really cute as well um and let's say that you know um you don't want to have this reception as followed or it's a bit obvious you can remove this as well now like i said you can also keep these you know to be a little bit different doesn't all have to be in the same format so you could really like um, change add text you know you could for example add another one which says you know uh, where and when and then you could just add the details of you know um, wherever the reception is going to happen so this could be um, you know the place and the address of the city as well so just giving you ideas here like you can see this is cute as well and you know if you want you can add more smaller elements to it but of course don't try to crowd your design too much because if it's too confusing it might not be super you know elegant and it might not work for everyone so you want to make sure that you're actually creating you know a design that works for a lot of people and isn't going to be too um too flashy or too unique because then it's a bit harder to sell that so you can look at different options what will suit the best i think this one is the nicest option that we have and as you can see now we have a pretty nice looking wedding template design that we could now kind of resell and create again the more you can edit and kind of customize the template the better it's going to be because the more unique this design is going to be to you but this is just one example of how you could you know take one of the starting point as a template and really just change it around and customize it and add your own unique elements to it ready to sell either directly on your website or on a place like etsy if you're looking for the step-by-step -step strategy with which you can create and sell your digital products, then I'm going to link you to the next video that you should watch after this, as well as my Digital Product Academy program, which walks you through in just two hours. You're going to find all the links in the description box below. The step-by-step -step method of creating and selling digital products online. Thank you for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe if you're new here, and I'll see you in the next one.